I kind of just had like a reflection slash like revelation kind of thing. You know, it's just, there's been all this thinking going around when it comes to what I've written down, what I've taken notes on, what's on all these papers and in this notebook and, you know, with school just starting and everything that's coming with it already and just these decisions and uh, kind of, in a way, just knowing who you are still and still being able and willing to be who you are. Even though you're questioned, you question yourself at times whether or not you should be who you are and who you know you are and do what you do and do what you know you should do. Even though you're questioning yourself about it and you don't know if it's what you should do or if it's the right thing, you know? I've, I've really, really enjoyed, honestly, the past three takes of the 20 to 30 minute long of me just talking about this stuff. See, the thing about to me being 17 years of age and talking about relationships, thinking, and all these things that I'm going to eventually get to is not that it's that, you know, people are going to look at it and say, you were this old and you have no idea what you're talking about. You haven't lived life or had any experiences or had any, you know what I mean? They're going to slam it down the throat. You know, that's what people do. That's the first instinct is because they don't know who you are and, you know, I everything that I know and that I believe and that I say I have proof and I back it up with facts, logic, reason, and because of what's happened to me. You know, I've talked about how, in all reality, I hit the very, very bottom. I did it to myself, and when I got there, I questioned everything. Everything from my very being to everyone else's very being. Why are we here? What are we doing here? And everything, anything imaginable. It's hard to even describe all the different things. You know what I mean? And the thing about me is I like talking in, sometimes about those kind of things and about life and about these things that I've been through and the way things are in life and life in general. You know, why things the way are the way they are, why people react the way they are, why people don't grow up and why people don't just just talk about themselves and their feelings and, and, and what's there in a way. You know what I mean? Like, you have to have it out. You have to have it out in some way. I learned that. You've learned that from me already. That you have to have it out. You can't keep bottling and then snapping. You can't just bottle, 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 and then snap. You can't snap and bottle. That's not the way to go through these things. The game doesn't work like that. It's not the way to play the game. That's You're playing it the wrong way. You're hurting yourself mentally when you're doing those things. When you're bottling. And you're not realizing and just accepting the way things are. You're thinking, oh, it's going to get better. It'll just blow over. You know? After you say that for the 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th, or 50th time, maybe it's time to realize it's not going to happen. You know? You notice something weird, you know? Uh, th it's a weird thing concept that I have about people that I actually care about and people that I actually know and want to know um, for me people that I care about people that I want to know and that I do know and I make an effort to know and try to understand and want to understand want to be involved with want to have something to do with and want to have something to do with them in a way forever because their story and who they are is interesting you know, it's interesting why people, why, um, when you, when you initially find someone that you actually, actually, truly care about in a way, and once you've found you, and you're this, this person, this person that's in tune to reality, in tune to everything that's out there, once you've found that self and that being, and you want to share that being, you want to try to understand that side of somebody else but most people are not there yet most people don't want to be there most people say that they won't get there but you will you will hit that point in life where everything you question you have full control of everything in your life every single thing that happens you have full control over and don't say that you don't Okay? Because it's not true. Brought up a point. 
What if my uncle raped me every single day? You're still in control of that. It doesn't matter. You're not telling the right people about it. You're not doing the right thing. You're still letting it happen. You're not, in a way, fighting it enough, in a way. You see, the thing is about when you fight those kind of, those terrible, terrible things that people that people have been through and people that, that happen to people, that person might end up really hurting you physically, like beating you up or whatnot, or you might end up getting killed by them over it. But at least you stood up for it and you were in control. That person's going to go away for a long time. You might be dead, but you'll be up in the sky with the man, and then you'll be have another chance to play the game over again. It's another weird um, kind of like idea and revelation I've had is that I think that for me, when I have dreams about things, I dream about the past a lot and the future and stuff, not so much the present. Like, I incorporate people from the present in the past and in the future, but not in the present. You know what I mean? So it's like when I dream about the past, I dream about a past life. When I dream about the future, I dream about my future and a future life after I'm gone. You know? Um, I don't like, in my life, the thing that I fear most is messing up and hurting somebody by actually saying and and honestly being me because of how I don't know how honest and truthful I'm I don't know why I fear telling people that I know care and that I know will listen and understand it I don't know why I fear that you know what I mean why is that the way that is it's an internal it's an, an internal thing you know what I mean it's a mental state I have full control over it, and I and I've I'm work I've worked on it. I have worked on it, and I've really improved on it. In all honesty and actuality, because it's killed me and the other people not doing that. You can't not do that, you know. Because I've learned that when people leave things about them out, like they 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 touch on it, they just bring it up briefly, but then they say, "I don't want to talk about it." You're left to play the assuming game on what's there. And what's possibly there. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know for sure. But you're left to assume and guess on what may or may not be there. I don't know. So, like, you know, all this is great. I enjoy it. And I really have had, like, a a weird hope or fantasy that more people would catch on to this kind of stuff and watch it and listen to it. And... You know, maybe they would take it and be moved by it. Like, I've been moved by things I've heard and seen. You know, another thing I've learned is that a lot of people aren't at the point where they've hit the bottom and they want to um, they want to find out who they are and find out what they're worth and see, honestly, that everything in life you can get as long as you're willing to actually go out there and go through the pain, go through what it takes to get there and go and get it. You know, like, people question what they want to do with themselves. You know, they like helping people they like um being close to people they like being with uh part of a family in a way you know i don't know how to describe these things you know they all everyone has that one thing that they really enjoy and they that makes them them me i want to be a soldier i want to taste combat i don't want to be in the military and repair things or be a desk jockey i want to go in combat that's what it's about that's what i want to do a lot of people say why would you want to be in combat when you can do all this other stuff and i said because that's what the military is about combat not about sitting behind a desk that's just me and a lot of i don't know it's just how i look at it you know in all honesty and actuality you kind of see that people do push this whole college thing and this whole really knowing what you want to do a lot more than they need to on people because the thing about today's generation and people is that a lot of people go to college for things and get degrees in fields that don't really take them anywhere after college. Just, it's more of like trying to live, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it. You have to go to college and make sure you get a degree in something that there's a job, and you have to make sure that you are interested in a field that's always going to be there. You can't pick a field that's going to be there now and not going to be there in the future. You know what I mean? It's nothing that people make the mistake of. They pick things that are there now or that were there and aren't going to be there or aren't there now. 
and you can't, you know what I mean? Another thing is, why would you pay for college if you can get it for free? You know, why would you go, I can't go to, I'm not, I can't, I've w wanted to go to college for other people, not for myself, and that's the truth. Even though I've set myself up very well financially and all that jazz, going to college isn't, wouldn't be for me. You know what I mean? Like, it just wouldn't be for me. I don't, I can't handle sitting at a desk for another four to six years. Granted, when I'm in the military for about a year or two, I will be behind a desk a lot, learning these things and learning, you know, stuff, but it's not the same in a way because you're actually wanting to be there. It's the one thing that makes the whole school revelation and all of that such a pain for people and for me and really doesn't I don't want to be there all the time because when you don't want to be somewhere or do something you're not going to do it to the best of your ability and put forth your best no I like to say I put forth my best effort in school but honestly I really don't I could care less about it I still end up doing well but not as well as I could because I don't put forth all my all like I know what I have to do to be successful and what I have to do to get the grade I want on the test or on the quiz or on whatnot, but I don't really care enough to actually do that. I know what it is, I just don't do it, I guess. I don't know how, it's, that's kind of like a weird thing to describe in a way, but it's, um, I've just been reflecting back because, uh, uh, yesterday, you know, I always say, I love too about how I do this, um, you know, no one really watches this stuff anyway, but it's still fun, and when I say yesterday, it's like God knows in context when that'll be from now, when other someone else has the opportunity to actually listen to this, if they do. And in context, uh, yesterday it was like, it was like, I thought I was doing the right thing. You know, I thought I was doing what I wanted and what I believed was just uh, for uh, like the belief's sake and what I wanted. But then like, it was like, no, you know, you... The LT, you, Ryan, uh, Shooter, that person, you need to be the, the one to just do what's right and what needs to be done because you know that people don't do it anymore. All right? It's very rare that someone will actually do that. You have to just prove to them and to yourself that regardless of how you feel or the circumstances or what's transpired, you still have to come out and do what's right. You know, yeah, it's just like when you say okay or yes or to anything, you have to follow through with it. You can't back down. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't say yes or no or maybe at all anymore, because a lot of the times I don't know if I'm going to do it or if I'm going to want to do it. So I just don't answer. I say, well, we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge. You know, I don't know. We'll, I just don't say anything. I just do things. And then you see the end result of it, and you get your thank yous and, and all that, and then you're always amazed because they don't think you're going to do it. And, um, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just what it is, I guess. I don't know how to, do, I don't know how to describe that in a way. I don't know. You just got to, you got to do what's right because it is right now. I'm not going to cover all this because it's all, that's a whole strand of topics and a whole thing we're going to spiel, we're going to do about that somewhere down the road. Um, but I just saw that yesterday and I said, I fucked up big time on me and then for the other thing. But then it was like, they really, uh, they did, I didn't get the resolve I wanted from them. All I did in a way was get them upset. And I got myself worked up about it. And But, um, you know, you can't really move people. Uh, some people you can change. You can change like the little things about them in a way, but they're still going to be that stubborn person or that they're still going to be that person that will rely on you for things in a way. And, you know, they're going to want, they, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like my emotional track is fucked up in a way because, um, I always am the one that has to like come up with everything for everybody I do things with. I can't, I never just get the tag along deal ever. And I don't know like why that is or whatnot, but, like, that's honestly how it is, it's like, I don't ever have the tag-along deal, I'm never, no one's always just like, hey, you're doing this with me, or you want to do that, you know what I mean, I always have to, um, 
go out there and come up with it and then put it into motion and get everybody on board, organize it all and, and do it all. You know what I mean? I have to, you know what I mean? No one ever, I don't know. Not a lot of people, I don't know if it's just the people I'm, I'm associated with or, or whatnot. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. It's just kind of how it is. You know, I wish more people would, um, you know, ask me to do things in a way, uh, special people. I don't know. Just people, people that I'm close to and people that I like that I call friends and the people that are, you know, and when they do, it means a lot more to to you than they honestly could ever imagine. And it works the same way in reverse. When I plan things and I put things in motion and get things going, it works the um works the same way. And that's all there is to it, you know? It was it's just it's just all there is to it, I guess. I don't know. Um It's just what it is. I mean, Everything works in reverse. You can flip the switch and it can go this way, that way, either other way. It doesn't matter. It all f flips back in reverse, I guess. But, I don't know, I'm just kind of letting it go. I'm not really naming names or exact examples because, eh, you're not, I'm not ready for that, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But, uh, eventually, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't really have anything else. That's kind of it. I don't know what else I wanted to say. I just honestly wanted to just say I like doing this stuff, and um, I think I finally found the calling. Um, I'm going to try to maybe incorporate different things and other people, maybe. But everyone's scared of the internet and the interwebs and all that stuff. They don't, I don't know, no one really understands the whole YouTube game and how fun it is and just, I don't know. Some people do and they say it's really cool, and those people are the or, um, people that I get along with really well and people that I honestly am always just like in so shock, in shock and awe about it, you know, but... Um, we're going to keep playing the game and I've honestly learned a lot about myself from this and that I'm, I'm a very, very good speaker. Honestly, I'm very good at talking and I can talk forever, honestly, about things. Um, I just don't like it when like, I don't know. It's like when you have conversation with different people, right? Um, some, t like for me, a typical conversation, someone brings up something, whether it's serious or not. You kind of voice your side of it, and then you expect the other person to fire back when they disagree, agree, or have something to say. But, you know, this one person I know, they don't fire back. They just, they're just always thinking, you know? They don't ever really say what they're thinking. You know, like, when I'm having a conversation with someone one-on-one, -on -one, when I'm, you know, like, if it's not one-on-one, -on -one, I don't say what's um, what comes to my mind, but if it's, like, one-on-one -on -one talking not like through text or all that stuff. I say what's there when it pops up because that's what you're supposed to do when you're talking verbally with people. That's what you that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? You know that that pondering stuff is when you're not talking verbally. Um you know, people think and think so much about every single thing they're going to say and make sure it's what they want to say. You know what I mean? And to an extent, I do that and that's that makes sense, but you hold back in a way from who you are and what you kind of want to say. You know, someone told me that I'm one of the, like, the I'm in very deep, and I don't even think I'm in deep at all. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the whole deepness thing in a person is like um, how much of it and of themselves, they even admit to themselves something I kind of I saw, and it was like, you don't even admit the things that have happened and these things to yourself. Why? You have to come full scale with these things. Um, you have to just accept it. You know, it's who you are and what you are. You can't change what's happened in the past. In all honesty, I've learned that it's best to just keep talking about what you've said and what you and what you've been through, whether it's good or bad. Um, just because it it's like I went through that, and people honestly are just always amazed by the things that other people have gone through and been through they honestly always are it never fails to show how amazed people are at the things other people go through and how they how the heck they are where they are now you know you hear what people have been through and how you've been so low or how people have done that those things to you and you've been through something like that and that you're and that you're here right now you're doing this and you're you don't even like it doesn't show that you've been through it but you you can't keep it down that way because eventually it's going to come out and it's not going to be pretty, whether it's in little spurts of bottling or the big bottle like I did it. Eh. 
you can't go about doing it in that way. You shouldn't. I mean, you can, and people still do, and people always will, but it's not what you should do. All right, you have to just talk about what's deep inside of you, whether it's with yourself, whether you write it down, whether it's with somebody. Um, like honestly, when it comes to, like in all the different stages, it builds. For me, it was first kind of just thinking about it in my mind, you know. Then I questioned it verbally to myself, in words, and to see if it made sense. And then. Eventually, I got to the point where I was just like, I had to write this stuff down so I don't forget it. I write it down the way it comes in, comes to me, and I'm saying it verbally to myself. I write it down, and then I can go back to it and talk about it and look at it and say, wow, this is what was there. You know what I mean? That's what I do now. I, I've learned to just, you know, I got notepads and papers with a lot of different things written on them. And now I can go back and I can just look at it. And it brings back, it's like, okay, I thought that. I don't really think that anymore, maybe. Or, you know, yeah, that's it still is that way. You know what I'm saying? And um, it it all just, it's all just something. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just, I don't like always being the one to make the calls and, you know, and uh, be the the big guy or the guy that's, you know what I mean? I, I like I like a balanced thing. And I like to know that it feels balanced, even though it probably is balanced. I like to, I, if you don't feel it's balanced, you're gonna you act differently and you do different things because you want to balance it out and you, you you do stupid stuff and you hurt things, you get people mad, you get yourself worked up over these things. Then later on, you come to the realization that God damn it, I should have did this and I fucked it up. But in the end, it's all okay because you had it out, you understand, and you were like, I lied up to myself right there, and I thought I wanted this, but I really didn't. <sighs> Uh, excuse me, um, and it's just what goes down, and it's just what happens. You got, I guess, you know. I don't, I don't have any other way to describe that. I guess. Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. I'll call it, I don't know, reflecting. Simply, I guess. I don't know what's what's been going on. I don't know. We're not naming specific events. I want to do a topic on school, but I'm not gonna think I'm gonna write much down about that. A lot of that just kind of flows out through time. It comes up as it comes up, and you kind of just roll with it, I guess. Just like how people don't grow up to in today's generation or anything. No one grows up anymore. It really puzzles me why people won't grow up. I don't know why people hold back on that, and they just don't. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like, too, when they're just like, you know someone's upset or they're feeling hurt about something, and you're just like, you okay? And they're like, yeah, I'll be fine. It's like, you're still upset. You still should talk about it, you know? I've learned that, too. Uh, I used to not do that at all. When I was down in the crapper, no one knew I was, and no one knew what I was thinking because I didn't share it when it was happening. I shared it after it happened, and I realized it. And now I've learned that when you're kind of down, it's not healthy to bottle it up. If something's there, you just need to have it out. No matter what it is or to who it is, you got to have it out with somebody, okay? In a way, even if it's with yourself or to the microphone, you got to have it out. You gotta write it down. You just gotta release it from your mind out there into the world. Okay? I don't know. That's just what I think of it, I guess. And how I picture it and how I act on everything now and whatnot, I guess. So, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this here. I could probably go on, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna, I think it'd be, um, it'd just be cool to see possible where it could go in in time you know we have a whole other year of this game and that kind of blows my mind too that there's still so much more time on this to see what happens and since i'm starting this this whole new thing early and i haven't even really put up the first big thing it's like all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um i'm gonna try to keep doing me and do what's right and um i don't know why i keep questioning multiple things and like i know what i should do and i know i shouldn't be an asshole and a stubborn person about it but a lot of it's just like it's who you are and you don't want to change that, but you still got to do what's right, you know, because you know when you're not doing what's right, you know what you should do and you realize it eventually and you're like, God damn it, I could have had a great fucking time, great night, great time. It all would have worked out, but I was too stubborn and I, I lied to myself about it and I didn't do what was right. And But when in the end result, when you're looking, when you were looking not for you to do it, but for someone else to do it, it's kind of like, oh, well lesson learned on both sides 
if you both have moved through it and you've moved on from it and you're okay, then you're fine. You just can't do it all the time. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that happens once, and then you're just like, okay, never again. That, that's stupid. It's dumb. You can't do that to yourself and, and other people. You just can't do it. So, um, we'll we'll pick up with the other big topic later. I was gonna do it last night, but I was really wanting to do it. Right? I wanted to do it for a while, and then like I came to the point where it was like revelation, realization. This is how it was, and I was like, okay, I have no drive to do this. I have no drive to do anything right now because of how this turned out. So, um, thank you for listening of course and um i don't know i wish this could get out there more but it is what it is and i i can't do anything about it so thank you for reflecting with me and i hope you reflected it with yourself as well because that's what this is all about me trying to help you even though people see a 17 year old doing this and they say you have no idea what you're talking about then i have a damn good job and great knowing of what i'm talking about and if you want to come to me and say it to my face you go right ahead because i know you won't just saying uh, so thank you for listening, everybody, and uh, just remember, be you, find you, and be you, and do what's right regardless of if, if you want other people to do it, because you just have to take it upon yourself to do what's you, and you have to do it. You have to do what's right. It doesn't matter if you want the other person to do it or you think they're going to do it. You got to do it. So just do it, all right? Just don't don't even puzzle yourself and go through all the questioning and things that I do. Just don't worry. Just go out there and get it, all right? Thank you, and I will talk to everybody um, later.